Dad and I went out shopping today. As you can see. And he was going to get the same thing as me for some reason. So he told me, oh, let me get that for you. <laughs> so I said, yeah, thank you, but you don't have to. So now uh, he bought uh, this one because he's going to shrink some cables or some tubing. So yeah, that's great. It wasn't expensive at all. So 199 kroner. So yeah, and I also was looking at this, <laughs> and he got me this also. <laughs> so that was very nice of him. But so my dad gave me free stuff today. So yeah, so it's a uh, generic one. Uh, I don't know how well this is, so... But it's, uh, I already have two meters, but it's always nice to have three, so you can measure current and, or if you want, um, yeah, current and voltage, but also if you want to measure at several points, like the voltage in and the voltage out. We need a battery. <laughs> okay.
So I've uh, put the strap fix design aside for a while. So uh, I was waiting forever for components. And uh, I know I don't know. I got a bit tired of it. But uh, now I am to finish it. You can see here there's a trace outside this board outline. So I have to fix that and. Uh, I also have to match up these dimensions <coughs> up to my 3D model so to make sure that everything is alright so, uh, and then let's just hide that wall so, yeah. so there's the board so yeah, so what I have to figure out is uh, it's uh, it's not this uh, modulator thing here. If I hide that, it's uh, these various Commodore versions. So unhide, and you can see this is the first Commodore board. So to figure out now that I have changed the dimensions in here. Uh, I think I have widened it, and I can see if I can widen it even more, and I can see in here if it will fit all of the different Commodores. So, yeah, so this one seems to be fitting very close, it looks like it doesn't work, so yeah, I'll figure out what to do, so, yeah, so, uh, it's uh, also, it's about money, because it costs to order this PCB, so, but I think we'll use a dirty PCB so uh, get things going fast. And also some fun. I have uh, components. I thought I could show you components with uh, the microscope. Check this out. These are the pot meters that goes on the Stripe X4. <laughs> they didn't send it in a box, so therefore you can see many of them have. Uh, gotten out of the tape It's in the inductor.
as for our housing to this Commodore 64 server, I have ordered this. So this is like a uh, 13 millimeter something, 12.7 millimeter diameter. And when it's flat, it measures about 20. What is it? 20 millimeters? Yeah. So, and the reason why I want it to be clear is because I have a green and a red LED. And the red one I'm still waiting for. Was, oh, I'm waiting, waiting. Yeah, anyway, so when it's clear, then I can see everything through here. So, and I also think that uh, if I put it over here, the sleeve, and then crimp it, and then I also will add some glue on each end and hair such that we get cable relief. So when it's pulled, you don't pull on this connection there. It pull on the actual sleeving and such. So hopefully that will be strong enough. There, so yeah, yeah. So uh, the finished product will look something like this. But now it looks like this, and I suppose, so of course, it's not going to be like this. It's going to be proper soldering with a individually insulated by heat shrink, so small heat shrink, and then this one will be go over. And also, you will have this part here. And now I don't have the other end, but uh, there's a cable relief or a clamp to clamp on the cable such that you get um, cable relief is that's called yeah. so yeah so okay I can show you it's not uh, finished yet so but it will look like this and uh, and also I will make this uh, wire shorter I think because it's not needed to have that much cable so it's just uh, in line with the cable this uh, product